Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. We are just a little bit more than three months away from what many believe will be the most dramatic total solar eclipse in US history. It is being called the Great American Eclipse of 2024, and millions of Americans will take time off in order to travel, so that they can personally see it. Between now and April, the mainstream news will be filled with stories about this eclipse, and so, it is going to be difficult for anyone to ignore what is going on. In this video, I am going to share 14 things that everyone needs to know about the Great American Eclipse of 2024. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. 1. It is a total solar eclipse that will occur on April 8, 2024. 2. The path of the eclipse will travel through portions of the states of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. 3. The path of the eclipse will also travel through parts of Mexico and Canada. 4. It is being projected that this eclipse will be the most viewed astronomical event in the entire history of our country. 5. According to the Washington Post, more than 30 million Americans will simply be able to walk outside of their homes and experience this eclipse. This is going to be the most populated eclipse in the US, with 31.5 million people able to just walk outside of their homes and experience this event, Kelly Cork, NASA program manager for the 2024 total solar eclipse, said in a news conference at the American Geophysical Union Conference. 6. We are being told that this eclipse may be the single biggest mass travel event of 2024. The event may also be the single biggest mass travel event in the United States, according to the Great American Eclipse website. Several large cities very close to the path of totality are, St. Louis, Cincinnati, Detroit, Toronto and Quebec. Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington DC, are also within 200 miles of the direct path. 7. Those that are in the direct path of the eclipse will discover that the air temperature suddenly becomes approximately 10 degrees cooler when the sun is completely out. 8. The path of the Great American Eclipse of 2024 will cross the United States on the very first day of the year on the Hebrew calendar. 9. If you put the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2024, the path of the Ring of Fire Solar Eclipse of October 14, 2023, and the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2017 all on a map, they combine to form a giant Paleo-Hebrew leaf over America. 10. If you just put the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2024 and the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2017 on a map, they combine to form a giant Paleo-Hebrew Tav over America. 11. The heart of the Paleo-Hebrew Tav forms a giant X that falls directly over the New Madrid Fault Zone. 12. Someone pointed out to me that we have seen a giant X like this before. The path of a solar eclipse that occurred on June 16, 1806, combined with the path of a solar eclipse that occurred on September 17, 1811, to also form a giant X over the New Madrid Fault Zone. 13. Three months after the solar eclipse that happened on September 17, 1811, a series of absolutely enormous earthquakes began to happen on the New Madrid Fault. The New Madrid earthquakes were the biggest earthquakes in American history. They occurred in the central Mississippi Valley, but were felt as far away as New York City, Boston, Montreal, and Washington, D.C. 
President James Madison and his wife Dolly, felt them in the White House. Church bells rang in Boston. From December 16, 1811 through March of 1812, there were over 2,000 earthquakes in the central Midwest, and between 6,000 to 10,000 earthquakes in the boot heel of Missouri, where New Madrid is located near the junction of the Ohio and Mississippi rivers. In the known history of the world, no other earthquakes have lasted so long or produced so much evidence of damage as the New Madrid earthquakes. Three of the earthquakes are on the list of America's top earthquakes. The first one on December 16, 1811, a magnitude of 8.1 on the Richter scale, the second on January 23, 1812, at 7.8, and the third on February 7, 1812, at as much as 8.8 .8 magnitude. 14. The next total solar eclipse visible from the United States will not happen until 2044, and the path of that total solar eclipse will only touch three states. I believe that the Great American Eclipse of 2024 is a really big deal. Others may disagree with me, and that is okay. I don't know anyone that agrees with me 100% of the time. But, what everyone should be able to agree on is, that 2024 is going to be quite a crazy year. So far this year, we have already seen a historic earthquake in Japan, a major escalation of the conflict in Ukraine, and an assassination which could take the war in the Middle East to an entirely new level. Each day is going to bring more new surprises, and I expect things to get really wild as we get closer to the election in November. So, buckle up and hold on tight, because chaos is here, and it isn't going away anytime soon. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.